Max here. Welcome to episode 17 of my Inferno Minds Developer Commentary. In this episode, we are going into, uh... Um... Well, there's no sign here. But I think a lot of most of you guys who have played the map will know how this area is. Uh, this is the Nameless Resource Cavern, where it's a bonus area where you can come and gather resources. And it's defended heavily by some tough monsters. And it gave uh, some LP some trouble. And other people handled it a little easier. Uh, I'm going to show off my strategy for taking on the area. Which is pretty simple. You know, did I bring ladders? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, uh, let's just get some some of this down. And some ladders. Does this work on... No, it doesn't work on gravel. Great. Uh, I think the easiest thing here is just... Nope. Oh, that works on gravel. Is this down at the level? Where, where did I go? Where am I? Ah, here we go. Uh, let's get some torches down. And let's make our ladder back up. There we go. Looks nice and neat. And we got some zombies already coming to greet us. Boop, hello. Okay, and more zombies. And yeah, here we go. Let me light this up. I don't want anything spawning behind me. Uh, plenty of coal, all the coal you'd ever, ever want to have. And I have, if you've noticed, I've brought some supplies. Uh, the supplies I'll need to uh, make a dent in this area. Uh, let's switch back to the food, eat the food. And so this place, I put it in here I really don't have that much to say about it, actually. Uh, it's just a bonus area with resources that I thought you might need. Uh, there's a way to acquire uh, infinite of several types of resources. Uh, there's infinite coal, but that you don't you can make charcoal, so that's not a big deal anymore. Uh, there's infinite water bottles, which is very handy. You can farm. Uh, there's the nether wart right there. So let me get out to my ladders again and let's see a place we can come down at. Oh, I threw a level 30 on an iron pickaxe, and I got efficiency 4. And then I just got an Unbreaking 3 book and tossed it on there. And that worked fairly well. Uh, so that's what I'll be using, and I'll save this. I don't know what I'm saving this for. I can't repair it. It's too expensive to repair. Uh, okay, well... So let's see. Uh, tell you what. Let's just observe the area first and be intelligent about this and not just charge in. Boop, I don't need that anymore. So there's some normal enemies. Okay, so this structure contains a gravel pit. And I'll just pretend that I think the gravel's gonna fall away and act appropriately. Uh, I know it won't, but I'm just gonna act like that, just, you know, to simulate being a norm normal player. Uh, there's redstone. I could've come here for redstone. Huh, I forgot about it, I put redstone in there. Um, so there's these pillars. Uh, there's a some sort of blue lapis structure in the middle. Uh, there's some nice loot in there. And by now, hopefully the player has figured out that lapis means above average loot. And there's some bedrock you can see over there, so... Hopefully the player has also figured out that bedrock just in the middle of a room probably has a spawner inside of it. Uh, pretty dense natural spawns. I bought some fences with me. I'd like to try to partition the room. Uh, let's head this way, along the wall. And, oh, I could drop my... I brought a double chest with me, but uh, I don't want to drop it here just yet. So let's head this way. What's this? Uh, some mossy cobblestone. Um, okay. So there are some custom enemies spawning from a wide area spawner. So let's see. If we observe them spawning... I wish these potion effects stopped getting all over my face. That's kind of... I think this, the potion effects are excessive. There's too many uh, particles. Can I get rid of that, actually? In video settings? Does that actually work for me? I don't think it does. Okay, well, I saw him spawn about right there. So I know his spawner is in this uh, plane right here. Um... And the spawners are in these columns here. They're inside the columns. Uh, some LPers had a really tough time finding it. I figured, like, the mossy cobblestone is, like, you know, the dungeon. And the spawner's always in the dungeon in normal Minecraft. So that was a big hint, but apparently not. So I guess it wasn't as obvious as I thought it was. Uh, rule number one of mapping is that whatever you think is obvious probably isn't. So in order, order for something to be ob obvious in a map, it has to be, like, blatantly, stupidly, painfully obvious to you. Uh, so there's a witch. So there's... I count three types of custom spawns so far here. Uh, and I don't care how the player beats this area. It's just an area for them to use and abuse however they see fit. Uh, I think it could be possible to... Let me think. I'm pretty sure it is possible to beat this map without even using this room. Uh, but this makes it just a lot easier. Uh, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can find... Okay, the witch spawned right there. I saw her fall down. So her spawner is on this plane right here. So, it's either in the wall, or in this column. Uh, uh oh. Let me get myself in a place where I can't get shot out from. 
Um, I don't think he's got a path up to me. He was trying to shoot me out. Hmm. Well, let's just toss an pearl at that pillar right there. And see what we can find inside of it. Anything inside of it? Well, there's some sand. Ah, there it is. So we have located the first spawner and killed it. And I think I'm going to go for the witch spawner, which is in the opposite pillar. Oh, did I just... Oh, I went up too high. Haha. <laughs> okay. Come back down. And the witch spawner's over here. Now, let's see if I can figure out exactly where it is by watching for a witch to spawn. I'm pretty sure I saw one spawn at that height right there. Actually, wait a minute. I just saw the, uh... Get out here, zombie. Pretty sure I just saw the, uh, spawner flame. So basically the way uh, spawners work is it's like, imagine a flat disc, a flat disc, and then the range is the diameter of the disc. Yeah, I saw one spawn right there. Uh, so it's like a circle right here around this altitude. And so that's how it works. Uh, I think, I, I think it's safe enough to bridge over there. So the easiest way to deal with this room is just to attack from the upper area, uh, attack from above and go down. And if you do that, I think it's pretty easy. Uh, where is it? It's down it's somewhere around here. There it is. Okay, so there went the witch spawner. So we don't have to deal with the witches or the thorn guards anymore. Uh, well, except for the ones that have already spawned in here. And let's head back to this pillar. Now, if you want to farm them, uh, you can also just light up that altitude. I would suggest, if you're going to do that, uh, get some of these potion guys and lure them out and get yourself some stacked potion bottles, or just one. I mean, you only need one, because it'll be eight minutes, I believe. Uh, I guess I'll make a... Can you shoot me? You know, maybe I shouldn't bridge that way. Okay. Let's go this way, and... Damn, damn it, sand! I should have brought a shovel with me, I didn't think to... I didn't think about, uh, that I'd be digging through uh, too much sand here. Yeah, it'll make it faster. Okay, there we go. We're back in solid blocks? Yes, we are. And let's head this way... Oops, don't want to fall down there. If I fell down there, I think the most appropriate action would be to enderpearl back up to a higher area where it's safer. Uh, damn it. I think I'm lost. No, I'm not. Here it is. Uh, I'm trying to find my way back out the blocks here. I could have sworn I was, like, right at the place where I... Yeah, 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 yeah. There I am. I'm right at the place where I entered. Uh, need some more night vision. Chug, 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 chug. Boop. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so now we have some walkways above the, on the upper part of the level here. Um, okay. So that means that these guys shouldn't be coming back, and I'm free to uh, snipe them to death to get rid of them. And the thorn guards, I think they're the highest level thorn guards, because uh, this room has some really good loot. I gotta stop for a second and let my health come back. Uh, this room has some really good loot, and I didn't want the monsters here to just be pushovers. So I tried to make them stronger. Uh, while we're waiting on our health to come back, I can safely just snipe these witches down. And probably work on some of these natural spawns. Uh, the natural spawns should all just be one-shots. The fire should finish them off. Keyword should. Which? what are you doing? Stop running around. Running around crazy. Now, this might this map as a whole might be more challenging on 1.6 because of the new hunger mechanics. And how the hunger drains your... Your, uh, your health regeneration will drain your hunger bar. Uh, at a 1 to 1 ratio. So, oh man, there's so much XP down there. I want that XP. Where did, uh... Where'd a, where'd a buddy go? Anybody see him? Oh, okay. Um, I'll tell you what I should do. Is something like this, and then this, and then light up, uh, get some light in these tunnels here. Yeah, like this. Because I've got night vision right now, but uh, this will get, this will get dark, and I don't want, like I say, a creeper spawning in here. That would be bad. Okay. Or a zombie, you know, just any kind of enemy spawning in here is not desirable. And it's counterproductive to what I'm trying to do. Mm, boop. Okay. Where'd the thorn guard go? Anybody see him? Uh, well, there's a witch. I'm just trying to get rid of the special monsters. And once I've gotten rid of them, I'm going to want to shut down the spawning of the resource skeletons. Uh, the ones that carry the water bottles. Did I kill the thorn guard? Did he burn to death? I thought they were immune to fire. Well, maybe they're not. I don't, I don't even remember the stats of my monsters. Um, oh, there's a witch. Wait, I think I just got shot at from somewhere. From you? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thorn guard looks 
think he's gone. Alright, so we've gotten rid of the worst two enemies in this room. Uh, now all we have to deal with is natural spawns, which there are already copious amount. And then the resource skeletons. Um, so I'm going to come back over here. Right over here. And we'll start from this spot over here. And I'm feeling OCD. So I wouldn't mind doing this. Yeah, I'm being OCD. I know. I don't care. Uh, let's go this way with it. And I'm just going to make a straight shot from the ladder coming into the room. Did I just overshoot the room? Ooh. What did I do there? I think I just overshot it. I'm, a, I'm such a derp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. I did. A lot. Uh... Let's see. So, the entrance is there. Right there. I feel like it's just Zisto, right? This is the kind of stuff Zisto does all the time. Is he makes, like, perfect tunnels and, and stuff. Uh... So I missed it by a pretty wide margin here. This is right over the thing. Let me head down and see where if I can find anything by going down. And this is just an excuse for me to use my booper, which is always awesome. Damn it! Okay, okay, I give up. I'm not that much of a Zisto. Uh, in this situation, I think he would... Uh, Oh, what do you do? He would actually, like, start mapping out coordinates and stuff. And I might do that for a rail line, but I'm... I'm not feeling that OCD right now. Uh, okay, so... Maybe... Maybe we don't need the most perfect entrance here. Uh, well, I guess I'll use this one, Sai. I wonder what I... I don't know what that tunnel looks like in there. It's just a, probably a mess. Well, I think I may have just inadvertently made myself a honeypot, so that's kind of... That's, that's not to a total waste of time. Um, so I guess I'll come down over here. Uh, on the edge of the cavern, maybe here. Oh, wow, I actually dug fast enough to take falling damage. That's hilarious. Uh, right here. And then make an entrance here. There we go. And maybe I can link this back to the main cavern at some point. Who knows? Mm. Where's my food? There it is. It needs to eat my foods. Okay, and then we're going to go down here. Huh? And let's make a window out right here. So I can see. Okay. Interesting. And what about here? Oh, hello! Okay, so we, we have indeed uh, landed in the room. And we're already getting shot at by stuff. Uh, I guess I'll use morning... Oh, there he is. Oh, no, wait. I think that's a normal skeleton that put on the thorn guard equipment. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, he put on the thorn guard's equipment. That's, that's kind of funny. No, my night vision. Dang it. What is going on down there? All right, well, that's that's fine, because now is the time for me to, uh... All right, here we go. Get out of here. Ow, shoot. Oh, I hear a creeper. There we go. Okay, uh... make the ladder. There. Okay. We are down in the room, and now we can start killing creepers that are trying to ambush us. And getting the light down. And yeah, the, that skeleton put on the, the Thorn Guard's equipment. That, that's funny. Okay. Uh, and now we just have to deal with a bunch of these natural spawns. Uh, which is going to be slightly tedious. And Alright, come on then. Let us do battle. You know, actually... What would be easier, in hindsight... Uh, is to take this... Go back to my base, make some invisibility potions, and then come in here and drop a glowstone grid, lighting grid while invisible. Uh, but, whatever. Alright, let's expand. Nope, not you. No, that's my glowstone. God damn it. And this is why I'm tempted to just go get the invisibility potion, because creepers are going to be blowing up the glowstone uh, and being a giant pain in the ass. Yeah, if it wasn't for the creepers, this would be a much, much easier. Glowstone here. Yeah. Go away. Bullshit. I call I call bullshit. The arrow just bounced off of him. You saw that. Um, here. And the uh, these guys are fast. They're not very strong though. Uh, Morning Lord should take them out in one hit. Okay, let's go get some light down here. Okay. What's hit? Oh, the wither. I was looking to see if there's any uh creepers here. Damn it. Okay. 
And of course, a piece of glowstone got blown up. Of course. Uh, I guess I could just run in there and tank it, right? Um, what did I pick up? I don't need that one fence. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, I have boots again. I'm wearing the Thorn Guard boots now. Um, I guess we'll light up on this side first. Yep. Hopefully no creepers. Oh, there's creepers. Mm, this could be a while. Damn it, get out of my... Mm. God damn it. Pain in the ass. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, eat my food bar. Back to full. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, natural... Sp there's no creeper spawners in here. Not in this chamber, at least. There's, uh, there's another chamber over there with some different enemies. Um, let's go this way. But this would be... If it wasn't for the natural spawn uh, creepers, this would be ridiculously simple. But because there's the creepers in here, this is a pain in the butt. However, uh, that said, uh, no matter what troubles I go through in this chamber, the reward is amazing. And you guys will see in the future. Uh, uh, just what I mean exactly. Um, oh, really? You get out of here. I don't have time for you. Alright, let's take out the bow. Get a beat on the creepers coming in. Kill them. I hear another fast guy coming in. Move, I'm trying to kill the creepers. I don't have time. It bounced off of him again! Oh, um... Rage, 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 rage. Oh, I think it's safe for me to drop my, uh, double chest now. Uh, and... This gravel, uh, appears to be safe. It's just... It's just nothing but sandstone underneath it, so... It's okay to stand on. Uh, let's make a little cubby for my loot box. Um... How about a nice platform here? Fuck off! You're not a threat or a challenge, you're just annoying. Alright, rage. Rage, rage, rage. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay, and we'll put the double chest here. A nice little platform for it. And let's decorate it with some glowstone. Yes, looks nice. And there. Okay. And here I want the... Uh, let's put my excess blocks that I'm not really using right now. And pick up some of this loot. Okay. Uh... Damn it. There. Well, I totally botched that. Oh, I, I must have to shift click. Well, I screwed up all of those bottles. Great. Uh, I'll just abandon them all. There we go. And the bones. And the feathers. And the gravel. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, well, let's get back to trying to light this stuff up. Hello, Enderman. How are you? I'm fine. I'm enjoying this complete lack of creepers. Oh, really? I am too. Tell me more. Sign me up for your newsletter. Ah, uh, there's a creeper. Get out of the way, spider. Get out of the way, fast guy. Wow. The creeper's got his own bodyguard service. It's just like, everybody gets in the way, and I'm not allowed to shoot the, uh, creeper. I'm kind of tempted to replace Enderman sounds. In the data files. Just because they hunt their horns so much, and they're annoying. Ugh. Was he standing on my block? Hey, how are you over there? How did you spawn over there? Oh, did you fall down from up above? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, making good progress. I'm gonna make a grinder of the uh, these wither skeletons here. And yeah, I gave them lower HP than normal, so a lot of times uh, they'll die in one hit to like a smite sword or even probably a sharpness sword or a bow. Um, and the entire time I'm just trying to shoot the creeper. There's another one. And he would have died one hit if I was hitting him with any kind of force. But I was using, like, wimpy little hits. Uh, get out of here. Uh, they're good for XP, too, by the way. Uh, just throwing that out there. Um, not as efficient. Oh, I almost swung at an Enderman. That would have been inconvenient. Uh, damn it, I need to heal uh, my food bar again. Okay. You know what? Screw you. I'm not, I'm not stopping to let my health regen. I just want to keep going. Uh, okay. 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 Here's their base. Their little hut that they spawn out of. 
Uh, this would have been so simple if I had just gone back and made an invisibility potion. And I need to shoot these guys. Okay. No creepers. I've gone, I've gone through a streak of no, uh, not finding any naturally spawning creepers. Oh, God damn it! And he's gonna blow up and kill the glowstone. And there's a creeper back there. Look at him. Let's try and kill him. See if we can get him, maybe. Okay. Can we put the glowstone down? There we go. Let's head back over here and see if anything's chasing us. Uh, creeper's not... Okay. What's this? Now, these are all level 30 enchantments. Uh, it's exactly the number of bottles you need to get to level 30. So, I figured the player would like these. Kind of a, as a reward for securing the room. Yeah, here you come. Boop. Ah, uh, you nicked me. You dog. Uh, what would Paul Soros do? He would call him a bum. He does that a lot. Oh, you bum. You stinking bum. Um, and I know one thing I'll probably use some of this experience on is repairing my bow, because it takes, uh, from my memory serves, 30, uh, 38 levels to repair the bow. Uh, there's a creeper down there. Okay. Slowly but surely lighting up the room. And we'll also need to light up the air above this depression in the ground here, because the... Uh, it's a wide area spawner, right? And uh, normal monsters have to spawn on the ground. But uh, monsters that come out of spawners, they can spawn in the air. Are you angry at me? Oh, I must have looked at you. And now you're freaking out because you're on fire, apparently. Well, good for you. Ah, I heard you. Get out of here. Uh, almost level 30, uh, 38 just from... I heard you. You're over here behind this wall, right? Oh, you're a normal skelly. You know what make this room worse? If there were Doombus, isn't it? Okay, kill them. No, not my... God damn it! My glowstone. I wish there was, like, toughened glowstone. Like, you could combine glowstone with something else. Oh, I know, like, iron bars. Combine glowstone and iron bars together, and you would get some sort of hardened uh, glowstone lamp that was resistant. That had more blast resistance than normal. That'd be really cool. Okay. Um, right. And we're not done yet. Uh, yeah, right there. The air is dark, and they spawn on a plane. Not like a airplane, but a, a two-dimensional plane from... And I don't have... I'll be right back. I gotta run back to my chest and get the stuff. Some more building supplies. And I should probably go up there and light that up, because I'm getting sick of uh, stuff spawning up here and falling down. Yeah, this, this is a good idea. Get out of here. Go die. Okay. Is this better? Yeah, this is better. Um, I see you up there, just camping. Okay. There we go. Now, I need... Where'd you guys come from? Alright. I'll drop off some of this. And I need to shift-click these. That's what I have to do to them. Uh, right. I'm gonna put this down in case I need to craft something. Um, get this back on my bar just in case. Yeah, let's get some, some of that. Ah, get out of here. Okay, so to stop the thingies from doing their thingies, I gotta come over here and come on. And the spawner's in here. So it is a, pl a flat plane that goes out like this way. And you can tell as this darkens. Uh, you know, I might need some light here. Are you coming? There we go. Or some light here. And it goes out this way, too. I didn't want to do that. Let's see. So I might need light here. And it looks like I need light over here as well. Okay, so cap that off. Hi. Uh, put some light here, one over there, and fall down, go boom. And I think one spawned back here. I thought I heard a heard the clacky clattering of bones. Okay, uh, uh, you're just a normal skelly. Did I get it? Is that everything? There's one there. Hey, boop. Let's see if they keep spawning. Oh, you nicked me again. Uh, maybe right here. 
flavor. Uh, is that it? And I think I'll just fence off this room. Because I don't want shenanigans coming out of there. Oh, hi. I guess I didn't get all the thingies yet. Uh, let's make a fence here. And I think this should be enough to contain the shenanigans within there. Get out of here. I swear to God, that is that is so annoying. I am so sick of them blowing up my glowstone. Because they're not going to kill me. Especially not with friggin' that. They're never going to kill me. It's just going to be annoyance. And they suck. And I'm going to kill them all. And, yeah. Alright, I have to fix that. And I think, like this. Uh, hey. And your stupid skeletons are over there. Being ranged. That's okay. Uh, let's put the stuff down here. Like this. Oh, they're still spawning over there? I have, a I have a piece of glowstone right there. Is it really not bright enough? Huh, curious. No, don't blow up. Did I stop you? No, I didn't. How did you... Oh, I see. There we go. I think I fixed it. Okay, so I can go in there if I want to have fun. Um, and have a party. Let's put some glowstone down there. Glowstone here, here. And I think I got it. Probably not. Well, I'm right next to it. So it's definitely... Okay, right over there. I see. Oh, don't knock me off! Ow. Hi, spider. And I just annihilated some poor, uh, nether wart with my sword. It was just minding its own business, and then all of a sudden, sword to face. Yeah, you can see how dark it is here. As soon as you start putting blocks down, uh, you can see that, hey, this is actually kind of, damn it. Actually kind of dark here. Okay, hang it. There we go. So this is lighting in uh, three-dimensional lighting. Uh, slightly more complicated than just having to light up the floor. There we go. Now, the advantage of this, and there is an advantage, is that because it's such a, w a wide area spawner, I now have control over where I want them to spawn more so than the uh, a normal spawner would. So if I want them to spawn, say, right here, I can start removing lights and block this part off. Or right there, or right there, or over there, or just about anywhere in this room, uh, I can have them spawning exactly where I want. So I have more freedom in designing a grinder uh, based on their spawn location. So with a normal grinder, a normal spawner, the range is like four. So you basically have to build your grinder on top of the spawner and right next to it. You don't have very much freedom in where to place your uh, stuff. Uh, so that's the advantage of a wide area spawner, is that you can use light levels to create a dark spot in this three-dimensional space, and wherever you make a dark spot is where they'll go to. So that's how you can control them. So I think I think that's really cool, and it seems like I finally shut them down. Uh, so that, that's, that's securing this room. Um, I used one region potion and two night vision potions. Uh, easiest way is just to assault from the top down. But, hang it! Uh, there we go. So that's that handled. And now we can take our glorious loots. Let's crack open this little chamber here. We got Rage Hill the Clear Cutter and Amblepian Fire Armor. Uh, that's more of a joke item, but that's a good item. That's a good item right there. Uh, I'll leave it there for now. And I'm gonna go put away uh, some of this stuff. Alright, let's try and not screw up the water bottles here. So that goes to that, goes to that, goes to that. And then shift click. Right click. Do I hit escape? Yeah, okay, I just hit escape. There, they're stacked. <laughs> so, like that, and then exchange it for another item. So I can pick them up and exchange them for another item. Okay, so that's safe to do. Uh, so I can exchange it for that. There we go, and that sets it down evenly. Okay, so there, that, that's cool. Um, how about we make a trash can here that goes straight down? And none of this digs faster, so, yeah. And that way I can stand here and just cue this stuff into uh, the trash can. Like that. Yeah, that works great. I like that. Uh, blah. Okay. So I think for now we have uh, plenty of stuff. We have... Let me go through here and see if there's anything on the ground I left. There's some more water bottles. There's another stack. And do I still have the fences on me? I do. I'm going to make this... I'm gonna make this too tall so they can stop being obnoxious. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, let's make this too tall. 
That way I won't be bothered by skeletons in there. It's like a zoo almost. And let's make this higher. Higher than it needs to be just so I feel a little safer. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's a fence. That's better. And it's the same on this side. Oh, you found a way to shoot. You suck. There we go. So we have a better fence now, and they can't get past, and I can observe them. Hey. Hey. You're a dumbass. Yes, yes you are. And we have our nice safe little area here. Okay, well now what's next on the list? I know what I want to do. Ooh, I know what I want to do. This will be fun. Uh, let's go deposit our spare stuff here. Um, some of this glowstone I ended up not needing. Uh, now we can combine some of these bottles. And cue that one out. And drop the flint. And just leave the gravel in here. Um, and we ended up with some gunpowder. That's cool. Okay, so let's take our booper, and we're going to go boop some crates. Cleo, I hope I make you proud. Here we go. Boop! And get the XP bottles, and let's make sure that... Okay! So much for those XP... Fucking god... Oh no, now there's... God damn it! Oh, rage. 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 Rage, rage, rage. I'm up, no, I'm up, I... There. Better? What up? Okay. Creepers, I swear to god. I... Creepers, no, 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 it's bullshit. Where did he, where did he even come from? Just like some crevice up above that he managed to spawn there and just falls down. <sighs> yes, 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 them squeaks. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm better again. I was, exp I had, uh, I was exposed to some flapaderp and it made me feel better. It's like a magic butter butterfly, only instead of making you relax and, and restoring your PP points, uh, it, it calms, fetches down, and yeah, okay. I get the XP's. Uh, so we can combine that with that. And then swap that for that and that. There we go. That's how we handle that. Uh, and I want all this as room for experience bottles. There we go. Am I full? Uh, here. You can have the glowstone and the nether rack. And I'd like some more room for these. There we go. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay, that's worth it. That's a lot of grinding uh, of monsters that I won't have to do now. And I can... Inch whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh, yeah. That can happen. Well, I better pearl up there and uh, light that up before tons of crap starts spawning in it. Because you know that would happen. I like how I almost died to a cave-in. That's, that's kind of funny. It's still going, too. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Light all this up. Hey, what's up, buddy? Where did you spawn at? Somewhere over here? Did a piece of glowstone, like, uh, have sand fall on it and cover it up? Maybe. Oh, that was redundant, but, oh well. Okay. So we caused a cave-in. That's kind of awesome. Uh, we have redstone for days. And we covered up this thing. And I think we're good to go. And we have some stacked bottles, which we can use for all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to head out and take my stacked bottles with me. And maybe I should go ahead and stack them more. But, uh, let's see. Like that. There we go. And I just boop that one away. So I've got a stack of 17 and a stack of 22, and I'll make one of these regen. Maybe maybe I can make the other one into fire resistance or strength. Oh. Oh. I know what, I know I need, a, there's another thing I need a stack of, and it might catch some people by surprise, because I never see anyone else using it. Um, and you know what? I don't really, I'll use this. Let's go back to, uh, let's go back to our ladder. We don't need to go down there to get back to it. We can make a platform here, like this, and use the booper. And there's our plat There's our ladder back up, all nice and exposed, and yeah, we're done that ladder. There we go. Boop. Boop. Nice. Okay, so we have a nice place to come in. So I'm going to head back to base. Uh, it's a little bit of a walk. Let's get out of here. How did you come here? And from where? Uh, I think off camera I'll micromanage my lighting a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really. There's some dark spaces still. Uh, and now with all that stuff in there lit up, monsters are going to be a lot more concentrated in this area. So I have to make sure it's all lit up. Uh, with the booper, I can actually make my own honey pots very quickly, which is really cool. In fact, I'm pretty sure that what I made in here is probably filled with monsters. And it, yeah, it is. Uh, okay. So I will meet you guys back over at 
my storage room, and now that we're back here, uh, I think it's time for some brewing. Let's see. So I'm going to shift-click that into there, and that's a water bottle. And I'll shift-click this one into here. And I guess I can go ahead and just toss in some nether wart. Uh, and we can stick that back in the brewing. And these all need to go back in here. Get them out of my inventory. That is a load. Look at, look at how many, look at those enchanting bottles. That is a beautiful sight. That is a nice, nice sight. Oh, 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 there's also another thing I, I want to show you guys. And this is technically a weapon. So it goes in here. Uh, as well as this really crappy bow. And I need to make more torches anyway, so. And these can go in here. Or just, these are miscellaneous blocks, I guess. And the flint, the flint can go in the trash can. Boop. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I don't have the ingredients I actually need to make uh, the one thing I wanted to make, but no, wrong thing. Yes, gas here. Uh, these are a bunch of useless water bottles. Maybe I'll make those into night vision potions because I don't use night vision as often. Uh, so I can throw a gas here and there, and I'll turn it into region, and then we can get a piece of redstone out the. And I'll just take half a stack and I'll toss it into the brewing uh, chest here. So, there, right, give me one of those, and you can take the rest back. Because we won't need to do too many brewing operations since we have access to uh, we have access to stacked potions, which are very nice. Um, and I'm tempted to make these splash regions just so I won't have to worry about water bottles uh, clogging my inventory. That might not be a bad idea. Where's my gunpowder at? Yeah, give me the I'll take the gunpowder. And so this will be so these are two minutes, and this is this will knock down the time, but at least it will. Uh, and put this back in there, and we will end up with. What do we got here? Two minutes, and two minutes goes down to a minute and a half. So that's not that bad. So now we have uh, 22 stacked splash region potions. Uh, that'll make things much easier. Uh, this is amazing loot. Uh, stacked potions are the best loot in the map, more so than any single diamond sword or diamond chest plate or pickaxe or whatever. Uh, except for maybe the booper. But the booper is really just a convenience tool. Uh, this, the stacked potions, this is the best loot you'll find in the map. And players who don't realize just how significant stacked potions are, you need to practice more at CTM maps and realize how, just how big of an... Uh, just think it through and realize how huge of an advantage uh, that gives you. Especially stacked healing. Stacked healing potions? Like stacked healing too? Oh my god. So you, got, you can be so tanky and just wade through enemies with that. Um, okay. Uh, that's about all I can do right... Well, wait a minute. Uh, do I do this? Yeah. And... Then this, right? Wait, hold on a sec. Uh, I need one of these first. Don't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have screwed up if I hadn't put the, if I don't put the nether in first. I don't know what it makes though. But I'm pretty. I need to do nether first, then the glistening metal, and then pop it with the. Oh wait, I'm missing something else. I'm missing uh, one of those. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? Oh, oh, and um, I've got 38 levels, so I can I'll take grab one of these and real fast just do this. There we go. Boop. Fresh bow. Uh, okay. So that's an awkward potion now. Yeah, you can say it, it says no effects now, so it's prepped for a glistening melon. And then I'll put these both in there. Uh, uh, oh, that felt so good. I stretched. I was waiting for this to go through. Uh, so now we have instant health, and now we're going to upgrade that to instant health too. And after I get done with this brewing here, I will... Uh, I want to show you guys uh, what I made. My chicken farm is done, I think. Uh, so that's it's, it's, it's kind of ugly. Uh, Alright, instant health 2, and then we'll throw some gunpowder in here. And this will give us a splash healing 2 potion. Yep, splash potion of instant health 2. And with these two, we are now really, really tanky. We're amazingly tanky with these. Okay, so let's see. Uh, for the last thing I'll do on this video is I'm going to show off my chicken farm. I made a chicken grinder. It's uh, totally automated. And, you know, in hindsight, I don't know how many chickens it's up to at this point. How many entities are in, are in here? Where do I even see that at? Oh, I don't know. Uh, hey guys! What's up? So it's supposed to automatically... Uh, damn it! Stop getting loose! Did it just throw the... It did. Hold on. It's gonna keep throwing the stupid... Here, give me the... When, when I turn this thing off, it, it applies redstone current to this hopper here, and it'll pause it. And so the stuff actually will accumulate. There we go. There's my chicken back. Uh, it'll accumulate in this chest, and I can take it out if I want. And once I turn it back on, they shoot out. It shoots out the chicken eggs and makes more chickens. So, theoretically, if I just 
left this and went AFK for a few hours and came back, it's possible it could get so many chickens that my game would crash. Because it'll never stop. And it actually expo- it'll, uh, the, uh, the- oh my god, stop, shut up. The increase in chickens, uh, the rate at which chickens are spawned into that room will increase exponentially over time as more chickens are put in there. Uh, I haven't seemed to have had the best luck, though, with the, the eggs making chickens. And I can't figure out how the chickens keep getting out of here. Because except for, like, this, this, if you notice, is actually a double-thick wall of glass. Because I heard that chickens can glitch through walls. Now, this is a single wall. But, I mean, maybe I need to make this double-thick, too. It's really annoying. They keep getting, like, one every now and then will get loose. Uh, I mean, I guess I could try to rig up a comparator to sense when this chest is full and then turn this thing on, but it's no problem for me to just leave this thing clicking away. And this is actually a uh, a, dro uh, a dropper pipe going up. Uh, they come in here and are put in this dropper, and then this dropper fires up into this uh, this hopper, which puts it into that dropper there. So it goes up, and you can actually transfer items upwards in a diagonal line as long as you keep applying the redstone current to it. Um, so I got my wish. There are pi upward pipes in Minecraft. They're just kind of slightly expensive to build, and you have to set up you know something like this. Uh, and then there's a dispenser. So that's why I needed the uh, stone to make these. I needed the stone to be able to make these items, and I needed smooth stone to make a uh, repeater here. Uh, so anyway, and we have... Where's my... No, you don't get out of my inventory. And here's my pumpkin farm, which I'm growing pumpkins on, because I'm going to need the pumpkins for something later on. And it's going to be awesome. And I had to pretty much tell LPers about this, because nobody thought of it on their own. Uh, which, I guess I can't blame them, because it's not... It's something that was, is relatively new, and it's not something you think about normally because i guess probably because you don't have the resources to do it but in my map in this map you do you absolutely have the resources to do uh lots of these uh, an army if you will of creations yes i'm, talk I'm talking about iron golems if you haven't figured it out yet uh iron golems amazing amazingly powerful and this map is designed for you to use them and it's balanced around you using them and if you don't figure that out you might have some trouble just gonna throw that out there uh so if you ever see a map give you lots of if you ever see a map uh, letting you farm pumpkins while also giving you uh, large deposits of iron, the map maker probably wants you to use iron golds. And the last few areas will be a good spot to use that at. Uh, where's my... There it is. Off you go. And I'll throw the chicken in there too. Because I'm still on, on a diet of uh, steak for now. And they've already grown more. Wow. Uh, this is a very productive pumpkin farm. Uh, I get a lot of pumpkins out of it. I don't know if this formation works the best, but at the very least it seems that... Uh, it gets them to grow quickly. The slots fill in pretty fast. Uh, let's go farm some trees. Ah, oh, I love the booper. Look how awesome this booper is. Look how quickly tree farming is with it. And the, my favorite part is this right here. I'm going to run back. And I'm just going to hold down the left mouse button and run back. Whee! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if I missed anything. Yep. And then you go back and you get the ones you may have missed. Uh, this would actually be a nice spot for fast graphics now that I think about it. And the longest thing, honestly, is just waiting for the stupid leaves to decay. Uh, so this is my automatic chicken farm. It hasn't gotten revved up yet. I'm thinking I might put, like, a fence here, and I can open the fence or just climb down the ladder. Yeah, I made a ladder here. Uh, it's ugly, but it works. It's functional. And I have, I've seen this dispenser shoot out an egg, and the egg hatched into a chick, so I know it works. I'm just, I've just been getting unlucky with the eggs, the chance of the egg hatching into a chicken. I haven't gotten very many so far. Uh, it's been taking a while. So I think I might grab a bunch of seeds from the wheat farm and just run in there and breed a bunch of them to try to give this thing a jump start. Uh, but I was hoping it would be something where I would just set it and forget it, and then come back a, a while later and just have ridiculous amounts of chickens. And I could go chop them up and uh, get tons of chicken meat. Uh, which would probably be more helpful on one point. Yeah, well, let me try fast graphics. Fancy graphics, there we go. Did I miss any logs? I'm always wonder worried about that. I guess I'll leave it on fancy. There's no reason not to. I think my computer can handle it, and I'm not really going near lush ruins. So, put the, these things back down. And this is my cactus farm, which... Uh, do I really need to comment on this? It's a cactus farm. You, you know how it works. You, you harvest the cactus and then you put them down. Like that. And then you take the excess in, you stick them in the thing, and they go poof, along with the wood. It goes back down. Uh, fine, I'll go get these. Damn it, saplings. Actually, I want the apples, because I might try to make myself some golden apples if I can, and just experiment with them and see how they work. Uh, not the uh, not the notch apples. I guess I could make a notch apple. Uh, but I'll, just normal golden apples, if I want more of them. Although, I can farm those easily at some point later in the map. But I can, make a, I can make a notch apple if I really wanted to and keep it for emergency use. I wouldn't just pop it and try to go in an area. I would, I would save it until I'm about to, if I was about to die and I just had to, you know, you know, I'm not dying here! And turn into gangplank and, you know, eat, eat an apple. Or, in his case, an orange, but for me, an apple. And, you know, just eat an apple or an orange and you'll, you'll be fine. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. I've shown off the farm, my chicken farm, and what I'm doing up here. Um, 
I guess I can turn that off for now. I just let a bunch of eggs pile up in there. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna go AFK and just turn the sound off and go AFK here and see what happens. And let's see, it's 2:29 p.m. and in 30 minutes, uh, this day's video will go public. What day is it? It is the I'm recording this July 8th, so it is currently July 8th, uh, 2013, at 2:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when I'm recording this, and so that'll give you some idea how far in advance I record when this eventually pops up on my channel and you see it. Okay, and we dealt with the uh, the resource area, the nameless resource area, and we got our prize, which is amazing. Look at that stacked potions, stacked splash potions. These are amazing, and you'll see uh, how helpful they are. All right, well thank you guys very much for watching. I'm gonna go AFK here and see if I can get some more chickens going. So until next time, and I'm just gonna get this apple. So until next time, uh, take it easy.